I'm here at Andrews University, and uh, there's a special person here that I want you to, to see. He has a message for you, and I'm talking about none other than our president, GC president, uh, Elder Ted Wilson. Elder Wilson, uh, thank you so much for your willingness to speak to us. And so in just a second, I'm going to turn the camera and ask you to share a few words. What a great privilege to share with the young people of Ontario the wonderful news that God has a special plan just for you. In fact, it's not a singular plan. It's not something just for you to stay apart. You are to be involved in one of the greatest adventures of your lifetime, and that is to work together to proclaim the wonderful good news. God loves us. The Lord has made a plan of salvation for us and that he's coming back to take us home. What an opportunity for young people to share something of hope and encouragement to a world that is really getting uncertain about just about everything. I want to encourage you to become involved in a very practical extension of what Jesus' ministry is all about. You know, the Lord really helped a lot of people in many different ways, physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. The Lord helped people in a very practical setting in order to draw them closer to Him. You know, service to mm -hmm. others and to the Lord is one of the best ways that you as a young people, a young person, can be part of this marvelous and exciting opportunity of telling people that Jesus is coming soon. You know, the three angels' messages of Revelation 14 uh, tell of some exciting things that will happen in the future and point out our special messages for this time. But really, they are rooted in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Get to know Jesus every day as your Savior. He will then, through a very powerful connection, give you an understanding of what it is that you should do in service for other people. Make sure that you start your day with the Lord, ask Him to lead you, to guide you. You know that beautiful quotation in Steps to Christ, consecrate yourself to the Lord in the morning and ask Him to guide you through the day. That's the kind of thing you need to be doing. And then the Lord will make your life meaningful. You'll have real understanding of what the purpose in life is all about. So God bless each one of you. I know that uh, each of you has tremendous talent and opportunities. The Lord wants to use them, and the church needs them. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Focus on his soon coming, and remember that God loves you individually and has a special plan for you. I want to wish you special guidance and blessing as you work together as young people in the Ontario Conference, helping to reach millions of people in that great province. God bless you, and I hope to see you soon, if not on this earth, in heaven. Maranatha. Amen.